In this lecture, we'll take a look at how we can install a Ruby on Rails stack on Windows operating system. The first thing that we do is visit this URL, bitnami.com stack Ruby. Now, they provide full-fledged installation, so you just have to click on next, 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 and it will be done within no minute. Now, we first have to download the installer package and then install it. So, first thing first, let's, let's go ahead and install the downloader package. And here I am on this URL bitnami.com slash stack slash Ruby. And you can download the installer from here. Once you click on this, you'll be prompted with this pop-up message. And you can simply click on this, no thanks, just take me to the download. Once you click this, you'll be downloading the installer, as you can see in my download bar. And you'll be greeted with a thank you message. Now all you need to do is just click on this to start installing it. And here, you just need to say yes, yes again, and there you go, the installation process has begun. And you just need to click on yes, and there you go, you are prompted with the setup screen, click next. Standard installation is what we will be doing, next again, and here we will be installing it inside Ruby stack directory, click next, and here you need to enter the stack database root password. So I'll be entering mine over here. Click next one more time. And here Apache Web Server is going to be served on 81. Click next. Postgres user password and click next now. This is the MySQL port. Click next. So you can choose the default option. If this suits you, otherwise go with the no. I'll let it be the default one. Yes. Click next now. And next here. You can uncheck this one and click next. Click next one more time. And here the installation process will begin. And once it's finished, you'll see this message coming up saying open Bitnami Ruby stack in browser. Just click on finish now. And you can see that it's opened up in a browser now. And uh, the documentation is actually located here inside this directory and you can click on this start the servers open the graphical manager tool in your installation directory to start and stop the installed servers so here you go you have the bitnami manager coming up now and here is the bitnami manager you can see that it has got this welcome tab manage servers and server events so we have our mysql database Postgres database and Apache web server all running. We have our welcome screen. You can go to the application, open PHP my admin and open application folder as well. Here you will see server events and you can start, stop all the services or restart all the services or specifically select and start restart or configure that selected service. Now here you can see we have got this deploy your own project link so once we are through with the installation process on other operating systems we'll be creating our first project